Hey, Andros, good morning. Good morning, Stephen Reeker. Here we are today. Look, three, the global wellness movement. And uh, we have uh, Carolyn Hong. She's from Australia. We also have someone, uh, sorry to say, I don't have her name right in front of me, but who's from California. And they're talking about, they're going to have some testimonials. They're just talking about three and the global wellness movement. Perfect. So here we go. All right. Let the movement flow. That's it. Let's let it flow. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our global wellness webinar conversation series. Today, I'm very privileged to be your host at this global wellness uh, seminar that we uh, host every week. We're very excited today to be speaking with all of you, uh, international audience from so many countries, from the west to the east to down under in Australia, where I'm located. Uh, our conversation today is not to replace the care from your physician, and we make no claims to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Caroline Hong. I'm a doctor in dentistry, trained in Australia, hence the Bachelor of Dental Surgery after my name. I practiced clinically for 15 years and have been in the healthcare industry for 40 years. I'm still registered as a dentist in Australia, but over the years, I've moved to health services management and company boards directorship in the healthcare sector, business, not-for-profit organizations, and also community uh, services. I've always had a passion for health and wellness throughout my life uh, as a dentist. I I practice preventative dentistry. So, so getting involved in this company three and proactive wellness is just an extension of my passion and my clinical experience from decades ago. Um, I'm currently talking to you from a beautiful beachside town called Port Macquarie. I'm sure many of you have not heard of Port Macquarie. It's a 400 kilometers north of Sydney in New South Wales, Australia. Today, I'm very privileged to be interviewing Dr. Lana Galicia, someone I've known for uh, many years, um, someone I've always admired for her professionalism in medicine, her humility, her philanthropy work, and also her willingness uh, to serve others. So Dr. Lana and I will speak for uh, 20 minutes. And we will then have three people join us in Australia to share their stories. So sit back and relax and we will start our conversations, which I'm sure by the end of this session will have a lasting insightful impact on all of you here today. Uh, Dr. Lana is uh, a pain management uh, physician and anesthesiologist. I think that's how I <laughs> say it correctly, <laughs> practicing in South California. She's also the chief medical uh, officer at the uh, Arroyo Vista Advanced Pain Specialist Clinic in Moore Park, South California. She's also one of our esteemed scientific advisory board members of three. So welcome, Dr. Lana. We are so happy that you are able to give us your time today of your busy clinical schedule. I know it's 5 p.m. for you there. We can't hate, wait for you to uh, share your story with us. So, so over to you, Dr. Lana. Hello, hello. Good evening, good morning, or wherever you are, uh, whatever is applicable. Thank you so much for this opportunity to speak before you, uh, though virtually, I mean, can't wait to see you in person. Like <laughs> Caroline, you are, I mean, I've been so waiting to see you. I was hoping I will see you in, I, I could, you know, I would have visited you somewhere in Australia and also in Hong Kong, but you know, the schedule didn't allow us, but it will happen, my dear, it will happen. Sure you are so kind. I'm sure it will we'll happen. Ask. Perhaps, um, Dr. Lana, please share uh, uh, with us a bit about your background, how you became a pain management physician and an anesthesiologist in California. All right. So let me uh, begin from I came from a very, uh, you know, humble beginnings, very humble beginnings in the Philippines. And uh, it happened that I married my husband, who happens to be a Filipino American. So I came to this country with just 100 barely a hundred dollars in my pocket. All right. I only have a hundred dollars in my pocket, but I have this wild, I have this huge dream, the dream that I'll be able to, um, 
be able to make a difference in the lives of many because of the fact that we have my, my foundation in terms of my family history. We are not a very healthy health wise, a healthy family. We have diabetes, you know, diabetes, hypertension, name it. And um, and so I, I really wanted to do something that will make a big difference. So I went, I came to this country. I did my my anesthesia residency in Cook County Hospital in Chicago and uh, learned so much from my colleagues there. And after that, I came to uh, the South, to Northern California and did my, my pain management uh, fellowship in at the University of California at, at Davis up north. And there I came to realize that there is such a huge need for a pain management specialist. You know, I'm sure a lot of people would even know that they don't that they couldn't believe that there is a pain management a subspecialty in anesthesiology. Yeah, you have cardiac anesthesia and all those, but a pain management is actually is is in its infancy. But really, when you get to this kind of a field, then you will realize that there's a lot of people out there that really require our service, but more so our um, you know making them understand, especially when you become a patient yourself and that's what happened to me and that's why i got so passionate about learning more about pain management and continue to learn and that's one thing that i will never stop doing is to continue to learn learning is is, is is such a love for me so that's about thank it you. yeah yeah thank you dr lana that's very inspiring you know uh, for all of us uh, tuning in in your work as a pain management uh, physician and an anesthesiologist you obviously specialize in anesthesia care, pain management, and critical care medicine, and you have all the essential knowledge uh, to understand and treat the entire human body. So in your opinion, how important is it? Uh, uh, what, what role does uh, supplements play in your patient's overall wellness journey? And how do you typically integrate that into your healthcare uh, regime for your patients? Well, that's a very good question. A very good question. I'm glad you asked that. Um, in pain management, yes, there is some. I, I tell patients when you see them and come to my clinic and evaluate them, and I tell, I ask them, what have you, what have you done in the past? What keeps you busy, and what are you doing now to take care of the pain? And I look at it as like a four leg chair when you take when you do pain management. You have the medical medical management, you have the interventional management, and that comes with injections or surgery or whatnot. And there is such a thing as also the, the effective component of pain management where you help about their mental health. But a big portion of that is what do you do, which is what are you putting in your body? And then that's very critical to identify that, to recognize that that in pain management, you have to identify what are the potential triggers that can actually exacerbate or even bring about disease states and then cause disease to even amplify or, or, or even worsen with improper intake of food or improper health uh, uh, maintenance, they call it, or abnormal inflammatory processes, and and knowing the the this knowledge of having supplements, and what's important here is the right supplement and the right packaging of this supplement. Having that background knowledge actually empower me to tell patients, okay, my friends, you know, yes, you're doing the right thing, but it's not enough. Mm -hmm. And having that background in the supplement and nutraceutical industry actually empowers me to share what is really vital. And, and that yes. is right yes. packaging and, and the right way to really put things in, inside our bodies. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lana. You are a very accomplished physician and award-winning MD in the United States. I mean, great patient reviews. I've uh, checked you out, and uh, uh, you run a very busy practice as well. Certainly adds a lot of credibility to have a group of very renowned doctors such as yourselves on our scientific advisory uh, board, and also in an unpaid capacity. Additionally, additionally, all of our uh, three supplements are listed, accepted, and listed on the PDR, and I believe it's one of the or the only company that has all the products listed and so quickly about a month after the products were made known to all of us. 
why is that important for uh, that from a physician perspective and from a consumer perspective that all our supplements are listed on the PDR? It is very powerful, Caroline, very powerful. It is actually, I call it a vetting process, you know, it's a vetting tool. When your product is in the PDR, you know, what physician desk reference uh, delivers this critical information in, in written form, it's either it's drug information and their resources. And this is actually a trusted resource for physicians. And when you start saying and telling that to, to your doctors, whoever doctors you're taking care, you know, taking care of you, when you start telling them that, yes, all our six products are actually in the PDR, that is integrity. That adds up to the integrity of the products that we share, the information that we share. And we rely so much us for providers on those vital information. And just so people know, only very few companies in the supplements or nutraceutical industry actually have their products in the PDR. So yeah. be, 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 you know, be, it is a very reliable source because you know why? Because those things that we have there have critical or uh, clinical studies that would support, they have unique science behind them. That's why you can actually share it with your, even with your prescribing physicians or your doctors that take care of you. So yeah, it's really very you. important. It's very powerful. Thank you, Dr. Lana. Uh, we use a different reference here called MIMS in Australia, but the PDR is very powerful. And uh, a lot of doctors actually don't even know where to look. And many of the doctors actually learn about three from their patients, asking them questions on uh, what do you think? <laughs> so thank you very much, uh, Dr. Lana. Um, Hey, Stephen. Yeah, so I'm gonna uh, let it go with that out. It basically, uh, you know, we have two uh, doctors: doctor of dentistry and a anesthesiologist and a, a pain medicine who's on the scientific our scientific advisory board. Just kind of going over, you know, their backgrounds. But you know, they these you know very qualified to know about nutrition and how it helps the human body. Right. Well, that's, that's the key is the fact that, um, the fact that these are, you know, highly respected medical professionals and they have definitely done their due diligence and chosen to align themselves with three, which is a big deal. Not only align themselves, but to the point where they've seen such amazing results that they have chosen to uh, be voluntary, non-paid, members of our scientific advisory board so that's that's a big deal really big deal yes and you know recommending the products to their patients you know they're putting their credibility on the line because they believe in the, our product line correct <clears throat> yeah they definitely wouldn't be doing that uh you know if there wasn't a strong feeling that uh they were going to see additional uh, great results and make a big difference with these products <clears throat> excuse me in their patients lives so yeah Good stuff. It really is. So, yeah, we, we're grateful you guys took the time out to take a look. And uh, there's a lot more information where that came from. Come out to uh, the TE Movement, the Entrepreneur Movement, <clears throat> TEMovement.com. And uh, we'd be happy to answer any questions you have and have you jump on board the fastest growing team in three. And, um, yeah, we're on social media. Go find Ed. Go find me, Stephen Reeker, Ed, Ed Drost. We're uh, – we're here to help, and we've got all the tools, plug-and-play system, all the tools and training and systems needed to be successful. So, yeah, we hope you'll uh, you'll join us soon. Yeah, and and also, it is a global wellness movement, so it's a global opportunity. We're in 14 countries. Correct. As you can see, we're in Australia, New Zealand, uh, Southeast Asia, you know, Philippines, so, and U.S. and Canada. So, again... Ed Droz, Stephen Reeker, thanks for joining us, and you have a great day. Yep. Thanks, folks. Bye for now. Ed, have a great one, sir. Yeah, you too, buddy. All right. Good. Bye, guys.